but there's just something to me about like the, the 20 ish thousand word books, you know, a hundred pagers that just feel very uh, doable to me that feel, you know, convenient to, to just pump out like that. <laughs> yeah. Pump it out and it makes it more, yeah. Easier for people to want to sit down and read it. You know, it's, it's not yeah. as daunting of a task to sit down and read that compared to Atlas shrugged, you know? <laughs> right. Exactly. And that, that was a big frustration too, is I didn't, I didn't see anyone and I've read a couple books that have tried to do this because I'm familiar with, you know, niche authors in this realm too, but mm -hmm. no one had done it in a way that I was really satisfied with completely. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's why I wrote the books I did because I said this doesn't really exist in this form out there. There's more often people who are like, I'm going to just, you know, pull a quote from all these different other authors. Here's Mises, here's Rothbard, whoever, Hayek, and they'll like pull quote a bunch. And it's like, yeah, but that's not your own analysis and thought. So my books are rooted in my own like independent analysis and thought mm -hmm. on libertarian theory and coming up with some things that are new, some things that are, you know, more normalized, but some things that are very new or, or, or differently articulated. Um, mm -hmm. But from my reception and then anyway, we could go check on the reviews. I mean, the reception is, is overwhelmingly positive, like on, on my books. And I think that's probably because I did a good job, I think of um, encapsulating the core tenets of these principles and the core advocacies and putting it into a way that just makes it easy and digestible and understandable and quickly defendable too. you know, the way that I frame, um, you know, the nature of self ownership and consent, you know, developing that is something that no one can really actually deny just because, consent you know is given because you want something to happen like you can't want your consent to be violated because wanting something right is consent so it's these these like logical things are mandatory logical things that make it impossible to really refute you know what i mean and when you start with those kind of premises about okay how do people interact with each other then you know you only get people who would who can lie to your face or try to you know gaslight you but anybody else you know, seeing that, like, yeah, I want you to rape me like that. And that's not rape. That doesn't, you know, it's just, <laughs> I mean, there's these <laughs> fundamental things that you just can't escape. And once you get to that, um, you know, which is what property rights rooted in scarcity, right? Mm -hmm. and it's, it's very defendable. And it's, it's very easy for people to relate to, because I think personally, from what I've seen, most people do get those principles for themselves. They, you know, they think, yeah, yeah, no one should rob me. No one should stab me and steal my stuff while I'm sleeping. Like they get that. Mm -hmm. uh, but then they give the special exception to the government, right? Oh, well, they can rob, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs>